to see Alison Ward. She's one of the members of the church and uh, we're going to show you the first part of the interview with her and then next week we'll show you the second half of that interview. You'll be fascinated by what you're about to see. You might want to videotape this. In fact, let's show you Alison Ward. When you see someone like this, and you just make a snout judgment, and you see someone doing something like this, you may say, oh man, you know, what's going on? But I want to tell you, this girl, she's a brilliant girl, her mother's a school teacher, her father's a doctor, a medical doctor, and these girls have been raised in Brownsville Assembly, I know their life, and they're godly girls, but God during this revival has gotten a hold of them, and her sister is Elizabeth that's given her testimony on television and here on Friday night in the church. And this is Allison. And God uses her uh, when it comes time for the altar call and things like that. He uses her in intercession. And you'll see her back there really under the power of the Holy Spirit beginning to intercede for lost souls. And she's never done anything like this. I've known her for many years. I've known these girls since they were little bitty girls. I mean like this, I've known them. I've been their pastor. But I know beyond any doubt whatsoever that these girls have been moved on by God's Spirit. And Allison, if you can, sweetheart, I want you to take just a moment and just share what the Lord's doing in your life and what's going on. Okay. I know what I'm I'm 19 years old, and uh, I've been through high school, and I'm in college now, and at the beginning of this revival, I didn't come for the first week. I, I was like everyone else, I wasn't so sure about it, and um, church had always been kind of just a requirement anyway, so it was the second Sunday of this revival that I came to the, the night service. And um, uh, Steve preached on, um, I have a verse for it. Um, for those of you who may need some further evidence that proves that this lady is being moved by a demon, we can get the evidence straight out of this lady's own mouth. Towards the beginning of her testimony, as she takes the microphone from this deluded pastor's hand, we invite her to walk over to the pulpit to give her testimony. Just as she gets up to walk over to the pulpit, you can hear the demon that is moving her speak out of her mouth and say the words, I can walk our Satan. The words are spoken quickly, so you'll have to listen carefully for it. If you put your ear close to the speaker, you'll hear it clearly. Listen for the words, I can walk our Satan. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. And she's never done anything like this. I've known her for many years. I've known these girls since they were little bitty girls. I mean like this, I've known them. I've been their pastor. But I know beyond any doubt whatsoever that these girls have been moved on by God's Spirit. And Allison, if you can, sweetheart, I want you to take just a moment and just share what the Lord's doing in your life and what's going on. Okay. I know what I'm There's much more that I could show you from just that one meeting in that church where the Toronto movement is flourishing. I can tell you for certain that the Richmond Assemblies of God Church in Melbourne, Australia is a church that is run by Satanists. Now when I stated that these two men, Chris Fields and David Cartledge, have been put forward by demons to lead Christians astray, I was not exaggerating in what I was saying. On the Melbourne Alive program, when asking the question, as to where God is moving in Melbourne, they direct their viewers to go to this very church that I have just exposed where the Satanists preach. Let me just show you what they said. There are demons that are sitting on their tongues doing the talking here. So these strange and unusual things are happening here. Now here as far as Melbourne is concerned, then well, having seen the churches here, 
Where do you think uh, that the evidence of, of God moving in a significant way here in Melbourne? Well, in recent times, we've been ministering at Richmond Assembly of God. This is the Richmond Temple Church that has yes. been there for years and years and years. Exactly. Mm -hmm. that has, it goes right back in history, right at the very foundation. Part of our, our city heritage. Yeah. It sure is. And Pastor Philip Hills and his wife, Barbara, are deeply committed to revival. Their own lives have been touched. And their church is as hot as anything I've seen in this country. It's mm -hmm. wonderful. So you think Melbourne is kind of in on this thing? Oh yes, and there are a number of places throughout the city where God is wonderfully moving. The senior pastor of that church, Philip Hills, teaches that you should never tell anyone that they are going to hell. If that's not Satan's doctrine, then what is? It's the exact opposite to what the Lord Jesus Christ taught. There's one more example that I just found of Benny Hinn that I'd like to show you. This is from his program, This Is Your Day. Here the Satanists, Benny Hinn and Paul Crouch, are saying that this baby's leg was deformed and got healed during the meeting. Benny Hinn has the microphone placed at Paul Crouch's mouth. As Paul Crouch is holding the baby and tells the cameraman to give him a close-up of the baby's legs, you can hear Benny Hinn saying a few words that the microphone picks up. You can hear him quickly say the words, That's glory, Satan. He probably thinks that his voice won't be heard being a fair distance away from the microphone. Listen carefully for this and you'll pick it up. Listen for Benny Hinn's voice and you'll hear him say, That's glory, Satan. 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 Give me some of that water. I want to clean the little, clean the little thing here. Manny, look here. Give me a close-up. That's glorious, isn't it? Oh, she's beautiful. Now as we have... Oh, she's beautiful. Now as we have reached the end of the video, in closing, I'd like to show you various selected clips from the meetings of the Satanists, and then we'll be finishing off with a section of preaching from Carter Conlon of his message, The Gospel of Slaughter. Take that out! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. That is the 